Here is part one of a four part series all about how to interpret your sleep tracking data and what I would at least suggest that you may want to focus on. Part one is all about quantity of sleep, but there's nuance here beyond that which you may believe. Obviously, most people have heard that the average sleep need is somewhere between seven to nine hours, and that's true. But what you may not realize is that to get a minimum of seven hours of total sleep, you may need to be in bed for seven and a half, seven and three quarter hours of sleep, or even more. So the first thing many people do is they conflate time in bed with total amount of time asleep. So focus on your total amount of sleep, not the total amount of time in bed. Sleep quantity is not just about a total numbers gain, it's also about the different stages of sleep. And I'm going to focus here on REM sleep and deep sleep or deep non-rapid eye movement sleep. Let's start with expectations and begin with REM sleep. REM sleep does not show much of a change across the lifespan. So when you're in your 20s, you should be expecting somewhere between about a 20 to 25% REM sleep amount. By the time you're in your 30s, that will drop, but not by much. Some Somewhere between let's say 18 and 22, 23%. By the time that you're in your 40s, you're down to maybe 18 to 20%. By the time you're in your 50s, you should be looking for somewhere between maybe 16 to 18%, maybe 19 if you're lucky. And then once you get above 16, once you're in your 70s, you should still be expecting at least a 16 or above percentage point count of total REM sleep. So REM sleep is remarkably resilient across the lifespan, and you're probably not aware of that. However, the thing that does decline precipitously across the lifespan is your deep non-REM sleep. So first, when you're in your 20s, you should be expecting percentage points somewhere between 18 to 20. So 18 to 20, 22% of deep non-REM sleep. Once you're in the 30s, that drops down to somewhere between 16 to 19%. By the time you're in your 40s, you restart to see a decline. Now you're looking at values somewhere between 12 to 16, maybe 17%. By the time you're in your 60s, you're starting to creep closer to single digits. Here, we're looking to somewhere between nine to 13% of deep sleep. By the time you're in your 70s or above, you could be somewhere between two to 8% of deep sleep. Keep that in mind just to help manage your expectations. So that's part one of a four part series in terms of how to interpret your sleep. Here we've covered quantity, not just conflating time in bed with total amount of time asleep, but also looking at your specific percentage points for REM and non-REM and guard railing them on the basis of age range.